Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. So on today's video we are going to be filling up the raised garden bed that you've seen us working on now for the past two videos. It's leveled, it's meshed, it's ready to be filled, so we're going to get at that right away. But before we start I do have to tell you that the wind is very strong out there again today. So as far as audio goes, we probably won't have much talking. So I'll, uh, I'll try to keep this nice and short just to show the process. Uh, I won't have too much repetitive video of going back and forth to the, uh, to the soil pile. But you'll know that that's what's happening. And, uh, and we'll get it filled up. And then hopefully we'll move forward with our trellising project. And, uh, and maybe a couple other things along the way. So without further ado, we'll get started and get that raised garden bed filled up. Next time you see me go to build a raised garden bed, make sure not to remind me about this day. Because I am drenched, hot, and uh, sweaty, and uh, running out of steam. But I'm going to keep pushing through it. But this is not fun. All right, This is not the fun part. So uh, you've been warned. Try to forget about the filling day. The filling day is brutal. Unless you got a tractor or something, but uh, yeah, it's rough.
All right, so hopefully you can hear me over the wind, but uh, here's the progress of the garden today as well. Um, so we just finished filling this raised garden bed. Slaved away at it, but I tell you, it's a good outcome to have another bed ready to go. But in this one, you know, we've had we've had a few mixed results, but for the most part, everything is thriving. Especially this lettuce right here is the best lettuce of all 12 that we started with. And what we're having for supper today, it's Taco Tuesday, so. We are going to take the outer leaves off of this and use it on our tacos. Mm -hmm. and so we'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah, we're going to make a yummy taco. So we're back in the workshop for a second now just to be able to talk to you guys. Uh, the wind is still blowing a gale out there. It's hard to get a word in edgewise against it. So I do apologize up to this point if, uh, if you're not getting much interaction in terms of, uh, of talking to you guys, explaining anything. Hopefully it's all pretty straightforward what's happening with filling up the garden bed. And uh, as you've just seen, we, uh, we finally took a small little harvest off of the lettuce. Uh, some of the lettuce is getting a few yellow leaves, whether it's overwatering, underwatering, uh, nutrient deficiency, we're not sure uh, what causes that. As well, one of the uh, sweet lettuces that we replaced after the cutworms has just totally wilted, soft, uh, looks like it's dying. So. Um, I may dig that up just to see if there's anything down in the root, whether it's another cutworm that's living down there or something to explain why it died uh, as compared to everything else. So next on the list now is to install that trellising that I was talking about, the cattle panel. Um, now whether or not this is true, cattle panel, I'm not sure, okay? Maybe people call it cattle panel when it's not, but basically they just have it as, uh, I believe it's four or six inch square utility mesh. I think it may be what's uh, sunken down into concrete with rebar to, uh, to give it stability and strength. But we're going to use it as a trellis uh, going from one bed to the next. Um, I would love to be able to talk to you guys outside while uh, doing this but it's probably just going to be another uh, segment of video with some music in the background as you see what I do. And unfortunately, that'll have to be uh, the best I can give you. Now, if anyone knows of a better vlogging camera with a microphone setup, please do not hesitate 
to, uh, to voice that in the comments and let me know uh, probably what kind of equipment is out there that would be better in our kind of winds. Uh, we may be just, you know, out of luck when it comes to getting something that's able to compensate for those kind of winds. But uh, if there is, please let me know. So with that, I'm going to take the cattle panels up on site. And in order to secure them, I have these four foot pieces of rebar. So I should be able to embed um, two feet of this down to the ground. And uh, the other two feet will be the 22 inches high for the actual height of the bed. And then from that point, I will uh, put the trellising down between the rebar and the uh, raised bed walls. And, uh, and hopefully that will be secure. So these cattle panels are approximately uh, seven feet long by three and a half wide. I'm not 100% sure, that's just what I remember on the sign. Whether or not that's true, we'll find out. But I'm going to try and do probably two uh, sections so that we get a total of seven feet of the bed taken up with a trellis and hopefully make it high enough to be able to walk under comfortably. So that's the plan. I'll get everything brought up on site and begin the installation and hopefully everything goes to plan. Uh, we'll definitely be breaking out some of our good old friends zip ties again because they should be quite useful in this process. Alright, with all that said and explained, hopefully that's enough to carry you through um, the following sequences of installation which more than likely I won't be talking in because of the wind. So uh, we'll see you out there.
be the trellis look. I got a few little fine tweaks to make uh, before we get to the finished product and uh, we'll show you a finished product once all is said and done. But that's the process right there. I'll do the rest off camera and we'll come back for the finished, uh, the finished look. What I got here some electrical supports, uh, whatever you want to call them, wall clamps, and some screws. And I'm just going to screw the rebar onto the side of the uh, raised garden bed just for that added support. So that's going to conclude putting on the trellis, filling up the garden bed, all that good stuff. We're done for now. Next thing that's left is to start planting. So until next time, hope you're happy, hope you're healthy, take care of each other, and, and peace, peace out! out.